we had a, a very interesting dialogue uh, in which we were looking at the importance of trust uh, at all levels in all areas of the functioning global cyberspace, if you like, the global international uh, telecommunications network, so to speak. Uh, and you can see trust building at the interpersonal level, at the commercial level, and so on. There's, there's plenty of it um, going on. What I was suggesting in my brief remarks was that in this, uh, in this new world order, we mustn't forget the sovereign state. Uh, whatever we think of them, whether some of them we like them or not, we've got to remember that in what's known now, known now as the, the multi-stakeholder approach, that the state, governments of states, are vitally important in building global trust in cyberspace. So what I'm arguing for uh, is, uh, is basically developing closer relationships between governments, bilaterally and multi-bilaterally. Uh, and I actually think that there's a lot to be said for revisiting some of the methods that we developed during the Cold War. Now, th this is not the Cold War, I'm not trying to argue that, there's nothing remotely like it, but there were some very interesting uh, methods that we developed during the Cold War, known as confidence building measures and confidence and security building measures. And these were non-confrontational, they were, they were all to do with establishing relationships and building up from the ground, and I think by and large uh, they were extremely useful. They helped really to produce uh, what was known during the Cold War as the period of détente, and so what I've been arguing for is trying to find a way to move us all towards a period of digital détente.